Hello, welcome back to the desk corner. Welcome to a new video. Today's video might be a little bit interesting. So a little while back, my friend Kate got me this art graph stuff. And what it says on the back is that it's drawing graphite putty and it's water soluble. It looks like a kneaded eraser and I can just tell that this could go terribly wrong. So I got some gloves. I've never used anything like this before, so I'm actually really excited to try it out. Um, and I wanted to do it on camera, of course, because what other way is there to do this? So let's get straight into the video. So what I think you're supposed to do, and what I've seen other people do, is just take out a little bit of it. That's what I'm going to do. I kind of just want to pull out a piece, but I know my fingers are going to get dirty if I do that. I guess I'll put a glove on. Let me see if I can get a nice piece of it. Oh my goodness. So sorry for the obnoxiously <clears throat> blue gloves, but I didn't have any other colors. I'm trying to push this together. Um, so it looks like a kneaded eraser and a bunch of little crumbly things are coming off of it. It's really messy. Wait a second. Wait just a second, you guys. Let me see how I can build it up by layering. Yeah, I mean, this looks like legit, it looks like graphite to me. Um, but what I want to do is see if I can blend it further using a tissue like I normally might use to blend graphite. So let me grab a tissue. So the tissue isn't really doing a whole lot. It's spreading some of the graphite around. You guys, this is so weird. Can you imagine if you got this mixed up with your kneaded eraser and what absolute disaster that would cause. I guess you can make some weird little marks. They look like those things you study in psychology class. Kind of textured actually. I kind of like how you can do that. And you can also, oh, pe pieces of it are breaking off. But you can also, I guess, make this more of like a finer point, but I think it would just get squished if you tried to do that. Oh, all of the pieces are falling apart. My gloves aren't even staying on. It's stuck to my, it's stuck to the okay. That one little guy gives off a lot of a lot of graphite. The real reason I was attracted to these and interested in them is actually because they are water soluble. So let me see if I can stick all the pieces of it back together. And then I'm going to add some water. Now I do have this old paintbrush that I could use. I'm just going to apply the water to it like this. Too much water, too much water. So you can see it starts to lift off a little if you apply too much, of course. I mean, I think it would be kind of cool to create a background effect that was like watercolor-esque, kind of like paint drops or something in the backdrop of a portrait. I wonder if you could do a more even wash with it for like a nice smooth, yeah. I think you could turn it into a paint. That's interesting. I wonder if I could smooth that out and even it out with layers. Now, of course, you have to be careful because all the little pieces seem to come apart. And then you get all these lines and dark streaks showing through. But obviously, I applied too much water. Luckily, I do have a different brush. And these actually... Wait, let me show you guys. These are actually the Faber-Castell uh, watercolor or water-soluble graphite. And this brush came with my set, so I thought, well, this brush is going to be used with graphite anyways. Now I wonder if you could just do that, like hold it like that and make a paint out of it. I, oh, you totally can. Maybe for like a smaller detailed area. Oh my goodness, I think I'm just going to be lazy with my portraits from now on and just fill them in like this. Then just go over it with pencil on top for all the little details. I'm just going to be holding this right here and dipping my paintbrush in it and just creating my portraits that way. It's technically graphite anyway. Now this brush that wasn't the best, I'm going to see if I can make that really dark. It lifts off a little bit. You have to be careful. Look how dark it gets though. Um, maybe for comparison I'll show you guys, well, I'm going to have to take my glove off, but I'll show you guys the darkest um, Faber-Castell watercolor pencil. No, not watercolor pencil. <laughs> Water-soluble graphite pencil that I have. And I'll see if it's about the same or if it's a little bit different in value. 
Yeah, that one gets nice and dark too. What if I dipped the putty in water and then tried to paint with it? I didn't know that it could get this dark, so that is pretty cool. It's got kind of an interesting texture to it. This is how it looks slightly wet, so I'm using a different side that's not quite as wet. And you can still get a really nice lay down, but I think you would just need some practice to make sure you don't get those streaks in there. If you wanted to do, oh, I guess if you wanted to do a background, you could just well, carefully, but you could do this, and that would give you a lay down. I just don't know how you would make it um, smooth. Let's see, add some water. I'm not even painting in the direction that I, look at my paintbrush, it's not even a good paintbrush. So my favorite result was um, the result I got from the wet putty because it just goes on so, so dark, and I think that could be useful. I have to admit I would be a little bit afraid to use this in my work because of just how unpredictable and messy it is. I guess it depends on what I'm doing or whatever. I guess I could test erasability. I just have a feeling once it's wet, it's not going to be very erasable. Now I can't really test it dry because, oh, I guess I can test it dry. There's still some parts that are more dry than wet. so. I kind of just want to grab this and just start mushing it and I saw an advertisement when I was looking this up to figure out how to use it. Um, There's an advertisement and the guy just took the whole thing out of here and made a ball with it and he just had it in his hand and he was going like this on a really giant paper on the wall. So yeah, that's not really coming off. It's not. A little bit, I guess. Maybe when it's completely dry, it comes off a little bit easier. I think it smudges even after it dries though, so it still has that property of graphite. Now I think I'm gonna have to find a different page in my sketchbook. Actually try to create some semblance of um, a piece with this or some kind of demonstration. Don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that. Here we are, a blank canvas, gloves, graphite putty all of the ingredients to create a masterpiece. If you guys try this out, I don't know how popular or well-known this particular product is. I know that um, water-soluble graphite is a thing, but to this extent, this moldable extent, I don't know. What I kind of want to do though, you guys, is make this into a paint. And that's why I have this tin here because, well, I got the tin because I figured I could store it, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna, um, air seal it back in the bag. Maybe I'll take a little bit of the putty and put it in here and add water and just make a paint because I think that's the way that I would end up using this, honestly, unless I was trying to go on dark, um, like how I showed you guys in that last example. So maybe not even that much, maybe like, okay. So what you do is you add some water and then I think it should melt down a little bit more and oh, I just, yeah. I knew this would happen, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take, let me clean that up from my desk. At least you can get the nice water droplet effect. So if I take some of this and I wanted to sketch like an eye maybe, that eye is too long. Let's make the iris bigger. Very realistic, very realistic. Not my best work, definitely not my best work. Now if you guys look at this, you can actually get a pretty consistent layer of paint or graphite. I mean technically graphite, but it goes on a lot like watercolor paint, which I know is kind of how this stuff works. I mean, I guess if you were using it this way, maybe you could create a nice even background with a bigger brush for a portrait or some other type of graphite work. If you wanted a nice light background or something even with like maybe little drops and effects like that. 
I kind of want to do the dramatic thing that the guy did in the advertisement that I saw. Actually, I don't think he did this exact thing. I'm going to do my own version of it. remember the movie The Ring? I feel like this looks like what um, that girl was sketching or what the sketches <laughs> looked like in that movie. I don't know, these are fun for playing around with. I can't see myself using this a lot, um, and it's definitely really messy, but it's really fun to use, and I think especially if I wanted to just let my creative freedom flow or my creative juices flow or whatever, um, that I would pull this out right away because there's no stress. <laughs> there's definitely no stress while using this. It's all just fun. Um, I am impressed with how dark um, and how just nice of a... I guess backdrop you could create with this. This kind of just looks like a crime scene right now. This isn't even like a full review or anything, I just wanted to do this for fun. I like that there's a lot of versatile ways that you can use this, and then if you decide to do watercolor with it, like a watercolor effect, you could do that. I imagine that this will dry out though, so I've got to close this airtight. Um, probably going to put this back in there with it. There you have it, you guys. Needless to say, I didn't create a full piece with this because I just don't really know where to start with that or how I would do it. Definitely some wonderful work created today. Probably some of my best. So that was me playing around with this art graph putty. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I didn't actually go and create a whole piece with it, but I couldn't really think of what I wanted to do with it just yet. I definitely will at least be using this for fun. I can make little paint out of it in this container now which has its fate forever sealed. I would like to know if you guys have tried this or any other water-soluble graphite products. Let me know in the comments below as usual, of course. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope it was enjoyable. I will try to find a link to this and put it in the description below if you're interested in it. I think that it's fairly cheap and very interesting if you want to give it a try. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!